2020 uh, question nine, once again, paper one. And we have a bunch of patterns with sticks in it. So three sticks in the first pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so there's seven in the second pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven in the third pattern. We can see there's a gap of four. It's an arithmetic sequence. So that means 15 for the next one. Keep adding on four all the way up. All right. How many matchsticks are required to make pattern 10 of the sequence? Okay. And then after that, we need the general formula. So I'm just going to go for the, yeah, go on, we'll just do, we'll do it this way. T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, T6. Uh, T7 will be 27, T8 will be uh, 31, T9 will be 35, and T10 will be 39. You just keep adding on four every time. Okay. Hence, find the formula, or sorry, not hence, find the formula for Tn. It's an arithmetic sequence, which means I can use the arithmetic formula, which is uh, A plus N minus 1 times D. Tn, now what's our a value is t1, t1 is 3, our d value is 4, so we're going to do uh, 3, that can be a 4 right there, and then you just get 4n minus 4, and then we get tn equals 3, take away 4 is minus 1, and then we get 4. One minus one plus four n, or that can be written as four n minus one. Okay. Next question. Pattern K has one hundred and forty-seven matchsticks. Where K is now another of n. Find the value of K. So basically, which pattern has a value of one hundred and forty-seven? Okay. So pattern three would be T three. Pattern ten would be T10. So pattern K is TK. Now we have the TN formula as 4N minus 1. But instead we're going to use TK, which means replace N with K. And we know that the answer has to be 147. So we bring 1 over the other side and we get 4K equals 148. We divide it by 4. 148 divided by 4. We get 37, k equals 37. k is a natural number, that's what we're looking for, a positive number whole. Find the formula for Sn. The total number of matchsticks required to make the first n patterns. Well, Sn, this formula is readily available in your pass, uh, in your logs table. Here it is here. Okay, we're gonna make a list of uh, numbers. We know that A is 3, and we know that D is 4. Let's double check that. T1 is 3, D is 4, absolutely. Okay, now we're going to fill in this formula. Sn equals uh, N over 2. Now 2 times A, which is 2 times 3, which is 6. D is 4, multiply in 4 to get 4N minus 4. Work within the bracket to get a 6 take away 4 is 2, so it's going to be 4n plus 2. You'd be entitled to leave it like that. Some people multiply in by the n to get a 4n squared plus 2n. And then you just leave this 2 here on the bottom. And since everything is divisible by 2, you can divide the 4n squared by 2 to get 2n squared. And you put 2n by 2 to get 1n. So that there would be your, uh, whoop, this one here would be your equation for sn. 2n squared plus 1n. I have a feeling I'm going to use it in a second. Find the total number of complete patterns in the sequence that can be made using 100, 820 matchsticks. Now, there is a trial and error way of getting marks for this if you aren't too sure about it. What you can do is it doesn't matter it doesn't matter which formula you enter it doesn't matter if you enter uh, this formula here 
or this formula here because they're actually both the same thing. The blue and the yellow formula are exactly the same. So if you weren't the best at doing this question, for high partial marks, you replace the n with x, okay? And you just go, what's it, uh, 4n, so it'd be 4x plus 2, all right? And you sort of just start at 1, go all the way up to, like, I don't know, 25, and just look at how many sticks it takes. It takes one, three sticks to make the first pattern. It takes 10 sticks to make the first two patterns. Remember, it was seven sticks for the second pattern, three sticks for the first pattern. That's 10 sticks for S2. S3 would be 21 because you're talking about three sticks, seven sticks, and then another, or sorry, 22. No, no, 21. 3 sticks, 7 sticks, plus 11 sticks, 21. So I bet you when I go to the calculator, the next one's 21. Now you can keep going until you see the number you were looking for. What number were you looking for? You were looking for 820 match sticks. So you just keep going downwards. And there it is there. It's S20. Now if you want to show attempted working outs of this, you could just do what we... You can pretend to do substitution. Like so. Pretend that you tried to do uh, S19. And S19 was, uh, what was it, 741. And then all of a sudden, oh, wait a minute, I did S20. And S20 gave me the right answer. This means it took, it, we were able to make 20, uh, we could do all the way up to T20. From T1 all the way up to T20 using the, uh, using the 820 matchsticks. So you say answer, answer equals 20. Now, that's a good way of getting attempt marks, even full marks in some cases. The way they're mostly looking for you to do it is by using a quadratic equation, where Sn equals 820. Now, we already know the answer is 20, so what we're going to do is going to bring this over to your side, and we're going to get 2n squared plus 1n minus 820. We're going to do the minus b formula. We're going to do a equals 2, b equals 1. C equals minus 820. We're going to write down the minus B formula, like so. And therefore, we're going to jump in and do these questions. So minus B is going to be minus 1. So A is 2, B is 1, C is minus 820. And we're going to do minus B plus or minus the square root of B squared, which is 1 squared minus 4 times A times C all over uh, 2 times A, which is uh, 2 times 2. Throw it into the calculator. Now, you got to make sure you don't make any errors. So it's going to be minus 1 plus square root of 1 squared minus 4 times 2 minus a20 all over your 2 times 2. One of these answers has to be 20. The first answer we got is 20, so n equals 20. That's the one we're looking for. There will also be a second answer. Uh, remember, uh, in sequences and series, the answers have to be pol uh, has to be whole numbers, and they can never, ever be negative. Because it, it starts off at t1 and t2, or s1 and s2. There is no S minus 1s and S minus 2s. So this answer is not legit. It's N equals 20. Okay. So that is uh, question 9 on 2020. Now we're still not done. Beautiful question. The table below shows the number of triangles formed by each pattern in the first two patterns. So what is it? That's one triangle. That's three triangles. And this is one, two, three. Or five, five triangles. So it seems to be an arithmetic sequence. So I reckon that will go to 7, 9, and 11. Yeah, that's basically what I did there. Second go. Now, it says the area of each triangle is 4, uh, four root 3. So that's a 4 root 3, that's a 4 root 3, that's a 4 root 3, that's a 4 root 3. Find the combined total area covered by the first 15 patterns in the sequence. So, basically what it wants me to do is, it would like me to find out 
How many triangles are in S15? S15 is T1, which is this one here. So that's your T1, your T2, your T3, your T4, your T5, and your T6, all the way up to T15. Okay? So I'm going to take out the SN formula for an arithmetic sequence, and I'm going to find out how many triangles there are in total. Because let's, for example, say S2. S2 would be 1 plus 3, that would be 4 triangles. S3 would be 1 plus 3 plus 5, which would be 9 triangles. I have to find out S15. And I don't really want to count up all the way to T15 to make that happen. So I'm going to use my formula instead. I'm going to make a list of my numbers. N is 1. That means, uh, sorry, sorry, T1 is 1. That means A is 1. D is 2, because it goes up in uh, 2 every time. And our N value would be 15. So I have everything I need. I'm going to find out how many triangles there are. So that will be 15 divided by 2. 2 times A, which is 2. Uh, D, N is 15. So 15 take away 1 is 14. 14 multiplied by D is 2. That will give me my 28. Uh, it's going to be 15 divided by 2 is 7.5. 7.5 multiplied by 30. You can put it all in the calculator straight away if you want it. It's actually kind of quicker to do this. And you're going to get 225. It's 225 triangles. Okay? And your 225 triangles, each triangle has a size of 4 root 3. So we're going to multiply this by 4 root 3. So 225 multiplied by 4 root 3. And we should get an answer of 1,558.85. One. 558.85 uh, centimeters squared. Okay, so that is question nine done on 2010, question nine. All right.